the Cradle was a great horror film because it was a really relatable horror film. I remember the reviews coming out. I remember people talking about it being sort of a fetal attraction. A Hand That Rocks the Cradle was directed by Curtis Hansen, who later went on to do L.A. Confidential and Eight Mile. And this is uh, one of his early films, and it's terrific. I mean, it's, it's very, very suspenseful. Very few horror movies are written by women. And The Hand That Rocks the Cradle is written by a woman, Amanda Silver. And she does an amazing job of tapping into every woman's worst fear on every level. The Hand That Rocks the Cradle is about a couple in the Seattle area. Myself, Annabella Shiora, we are in need of a nanny. Uh, which is where Rebecca de Mornay comes in. She comes in and she takes away Annabella Estriero's whole life, and she just creates this nightmare world for this woman that she has this hidden agenda um, against. It's really scary to think that you could let a woman into your house and she could begin to undermine all of the bonds that you've created with your children and with your husband. The Rebecca de Mornay character, because she's a great villain. She's psychotic. You don't know what she's really capable of. She's got a really cold exterior and this boiling, like, volcanic rage that's just always just under the surface. scene where she's breastfeeding the, the child is just incredibly disturbing. Rebecca de Mornay goes into the nursery and she looks down at the baby and she lifts up this pillow and you think she's going to go in there and smother the baby. <laughs> another woman breastfeeding my baby is like worse than having you know Jason come around the corner with a knife the best part of the movie is when Peyton gets impaled on the white picket fence at the end I mean that's the that's the triumph I got to watch the sun devil fall out the window and then hit the picket fence which is kind of really symbolic in a way You know, getting locked up is not enough, and the movie satisfies. <laughs> we shot a couple of different endings to that, and I think the one that they chose was the best. I mean, there was cheering in the theater. It was, thank God, the Wicked Witch is dead.